Gold is the first refuge of the cautious. And whenever things start getting dicey in this world of ours, people naturally move into gold. It's a very natural, understandable phenomenon. It was from 71 to 74, the stock market halved. I mean, we had the biggest depression as of that time since the Great Depression. I mean, it was just a terrible time. When Reagan came into office, gold was about $800 an ounce. And by the time he left office, it was $350 an ounce, something like that. Now, that's what should happen. When you make the dollar really, really good, if you make the dollar better than gold, I mean, it's wonderful. And Reagan did that with Paul Volcker. It was a super job. Clinton, which I, th who I thought did a fairly good job, to be honest with you. I liked the government spending cuts, all of that. The stimulus packages, just crazy, just crazy bad economics. And they did all the other stuff, and, and really, uh, you had 16 years of catastrophic decline in the U.S. economy. The, the 2000 to 2017 period, I would say up to 2017 period, was taxes driven to a large, large extent, but it also included incomes policies, regulations, restrictions, interventions of all sort, government spending, the stimulus package, all of that stuff came along. And part and parcel of that is people went to security, which means they went to gold, and they went to other safe havens. And so what you had was high inflation during that period as well. If you look at devaluations of currencies and the inflation rates of those, you find exactly what I said was those countries that devalue their currencies have higher inflation, but not only higher inflation, uh, they have higher inflation by the exact amount of which they devalue their currencies. <laughs> so therefore, if you inflate the currency, you can effectively lower real wages and get people to work a lot harder for a much lower cost, which just makes no sense. People aren't stupid. And they're not only not stupid, I think the only ones who might be are the professors who argue that case. The reason you like stable prices is it doesn't push you up the progressive ladder of taxation. The other reason you want stable prices is because when I make a loan or borrow or lend money, I want to know what I'm going to be paid back in. And if I know with perfect certainty that a value of a dollar 10 years from now will be the same as the value of a dollar is today, I am much more willing to make 10-year borrowings and lendings than I would be if I had no idea what the value was going to be. So therefore, stable prices will increase the amount of financial transactions that take place, which are very, very helpful to economic growth and prosperity. It may not be the best, gold may not be the best way to achieve that stability, but it sure has worked.